My name is Yanis Arveluma. And I'm Murat Deveji. Welcome to Optafiliated Test Corner. In this episode, uh, Buddy gets to try Vision Pro. Buddy went crazy. <laughs> I think he really likes it. Oh yeah, Buddy can't wait to taste this. Yeah, it's a love on the first sight. <laughs> so yeah, um, when you order Vision Pro, <clears throat> you need to use the app and the app will actually measure your, your head. And then that's how they decide that which size of a band you want. So, so I place the order, so hopefully my head is, is, is about the same size as Buddy's head. So it's not going to fall off. Yeah. So uh, let's try it out. Let's do so. <clears throat> Yep, looks like a perfect oh. fit. And then we have the little dial here, which we can use to tighten the, the band. <clears throat> and now it's a perfect, perfect fit for body. So what kind of tests do we do for this type of devices? So there are different test cases we can perform. For example, with body, the main test cases will be involving around the latency measurement. So there is the traditional motion to photon latency. Then there is also see-through latency. See-through latency sometimes also called photon to photon latency. Got it. So because this one has the cameras which are showing you the real world, then we want to know that how much <clears throat> latency there is from that real world image to your eye. Yeah. Although the manufacturers describe as real time 3D view of the uh, spatial environment, we need to find out the actual latency and body performs those test cases. Got it. So <clears throat> basically what body can do, it moves the, the device and then we can compare the device movement to the movement of the virtual reality image. And then that way see that if there's some uh, weird movements like jitter or if the, the image overshoots. So basically when you stop your head, it co still continues moving. Correct. In addition to those, we can also, for example, perform pause repeatability again during the movements or also on the stationary conditions, for example. What other type of measurements we do in optofidelity? So optofidelity is also specialized on image quality measurements. And for those, we have, for example, human eye mimicking lens. These are really specialized optics. It goes inside the eye box in any arbitrary positions. With a single shot, it captures the entire field of view. So based on these test cases, we can tell you that this image is a good image or this, is, this image is a bad image. And in order to uh, understand and characterize uh, the images, we can, for example, measure the luminance non-uniformities, color non-uniformities, and we can also analyze what is the actual field of view. And we can also find out the size of the eye box, which is a 3D shape in the virtual environment. Then, for example, we can also find out the distance of the virtual images. Of course, we can go with a very traditional uh, test characteristics, such as modulation transfer function, that is the MTF. So, you know, in order to do these measurements, doesn't it mean that the lens and the camera needs to be calibrated? Is Co that something that, that OptoFidelity does? Correct. Uh, OptoFidelity has a, opt a very talented optical engineering team, and we do have all these specialized tools available. So we actually calibrate all of, all of our lenses, and when we attach those with the cameras, it could be filter wheel colorimeters, it could be monochromatic cameras. So we can calibrate all these features, and then we can measure the best possible images uh, from this type of devices. Got it. So basically, when customer gets uh, instrumentation from us, uh, they know that they will get values that, that they can trust. And I will say that you cannot get this from anywhere else. So we are pretty much the only one with this type of human eye mimicking lens. Got it. And then um, in, previously when we were talking about the device, um, you said that the field of view of this device is 100 degrees, which uh, is really high for this type of devices. So can OptoFidelity Optics actually capture this whole field of view? Yeah, so traditionally, for example, augmented reality displays are nowadays limited up to 60 degrees diagonal. But for example, when it comes to the virtual reality and this type of uh, pass, video pass through mixed reality head mounted displays, we can already see uh, even beyond 100 degree diagonal. But our own optics are capable to reach uh, beyond 140 degrees, for example. Got it. That, that is really huge uh, field of view. Yeah. yeah. So. <clears throat> now that uh, we have all these different uh, ways of testing it, um, basically in the next episode, I guess we are then reviewing values, how this guy performs. Yeah, so I will say that we will first performing uh, our tracking performance test cases with Buddy. With Buddy, okay, yeah. Then uh, we will also perform these image quality test cases, as mentioned, uh, luminance, color, non-uniformities, eye box, FOV, geometric distortion, 
uh, virtual image distance and MTF in the next episodes also. So you will be, if you follow us, you will be able to see the actual performance results of the Apple Vision Pro, both from the tracking performance point of view and both also from the image quality performance point of view. Got it. So guys, if you want to see how this performs and then also how it compares to other devices on the market, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next episodes. Thank <music> you.